So specifications for your machine, your PC, your laptop, whatever it is for 2021. Yeah, because, you know, 2020 is about to end. So I'm going to start off first thing that you're going to need for your PC. In my opinion, it's going to be a solid state drive. Why solid state drive? Well, it's definitely a lot quicker than a hard drive. <laughs> that's for sure. Do not get a hard drive. Uh, that's the one with the mechanical thing spinning inside <laughs> in layman's terms. Yeah, definitely get a solid state drive. How much space you want, that is up to you. You can get one terabyte, it's a little more expensive. You can get, two, but it depends. If you're investing in yourself, but at the same time, you know, you can definitely buy external SSD, SSD drives so you don't have to pay up front for a PC that might break or it might not break in the future. So you always got your external drive to save stuff, right? And I think that's pretty cool. So first one, SSD drive. All right. So second item on the list is going to be your RAM. All right. So pretend that there is a wall in front of you that's 12 by 12 and there's it's divided into boxes also 12 boxes by 12 boxes pretend that you have eight gigabytes of ram means you have eight eight arms <laughs> just 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 bear with me uh and so you are ordered to execute a program and you need to access that memory really quick now you have eight arms to access the 12 by 12 boxes you have 16 gigabytes you got 16 arms if you got 32 gigabytes now you got 32 arms accessing those um 12 by 12 boxes i just wanted to give you like a type of uh visual aspect of it so you so you get me but i definitely do recommend you at least get 16 if you if you want to develop um so this specifications is more for somebody who wants to be a developer and wants to know at least a good pc that's gonna be uh, reliable so ssd drive and so far 16 gigabytes of ram all right so next thing i'm gonna say is your your processor go at least for for developing minimum i'd say go with um with an i5 yeah definitely go with an i5 there's the the, the ryzen i believe it's the other the other ones um other processors the three i believe is the one that is equal to an i5 so if you want to go experiment with those you are more than welcome to my buddy actually got one of them um so far he hasn't complained so i think he's doing well but i'm definitely gonna ask him and i'm gonna make an update to this um so yeah an i5 16 gigabytes of ram and ssd drive and yeah let's see so far processor ram drive yeah those are the three basic items that i think you're going to need i mean a decent screen the 1920 by 1080 um honestly graphics look way better that way uh, really they really do um if you get a smaller screen i mean it's going to look nice a screen but like you know a, a genuine aspect ratio that's that's used often for applications and what we've got to the standard right now i think a 1920 by 1080 screen would do you nice all right so i got two optional things that you might actually want or you might not want one of them is uh, a graphics card the processor has a graphics uh, drive but it's it's okay it's not the best and do i recommend it yeah of course it's what you got like, you know you're gonna use it but do you want to get an ex like you know an actual um um graphics card mm. personally if i'm not developing like 3d stuff and or extremely um extreme visuals on after effects or or premiere pro or heavy on photoshop then you're okay without it and the last one that i think might actually might not be such a bad idea is getting a sound card you're like wait but no graphics card but you want me to get a sound card hear me out you can get a 40 dollar uh, usb interface and you can record vlog record your guitar record your piano and it's a 40 dollar 40 dollar 30 dollar usb interface 
And honestly, that that is your graphic, um, your sound card. Your PC won't won't be um, working trying to process the sound. The the USB interface will be doing all that. PC just gives a little bit of power and information that it should process, and and that's it. You know, and honestly, your your PC won't won't get exhausted doing all the audio process, and you might actually even make your your PC last longer. So I I genuinely do do recommend a sound card, which is a USB interface, forty, thirty, fifty bucks, sixty. Maybe if you actually genuinely want to record, you can go higher. We can make a different video about that. But yeah, those are my uh, developer's guide for your machine in twenty twenty one. If you want to get into it and minimum of requirements. So subscribe and stay tuned and catch you on the flip side.